Hello and welcome to my channel. I was recently asked by a viewer about creating a jigsaw puzzle in Canvas Workspace. And as I told them, yes, indeed, you can do that. However, you don't create the jigsaw puzzle in Canvas Workspace. What you do is you import a file, such as an SVG file, into Canvas Workspace and then design it from there. So what n normally happens is jigsaws are designed in uh, more conducive design software such as InDesign or even something like Corel Draw or Illustrator. Those sort of, of uh, software programs. I believe you might even be able to do it in uh, shortcuts a lot, but I'm, I've not really used that program, so I'm, I can't be 100% sure if you can do it. But then they save them as SVG files and then offer them either for sale or free for you to use. You will find uh, SVG files for these jigsaw puzzles on Etsy, for example, and iStock also does have some jigsaw puzzles, but as I said, there are plenty that are free. Some are only for personal use, but there are those who do allow you to sell your finished products. And it's that latter uh, group of designers that I've chosen to show you today where I'm going to be creating some little jigsaw puzzles as well as a card that is in the form of a jigsaw. So it's time now to head over to Canvas Workspace and I'll show you how. We are now in Canvas Workspace and as you can see we have a lovely Victorian lady on the screen. She's only here as a guest, however. She will not be cut out. In fact, you cannot cut out images such as this. You can use them for reference, or in this case, I'm going to use this as a demonstration. So things like PNG files and JPEGs. Yes, you can import them, but you cannot cut them. In fact, when you try to export this file, I'll show you here, you'll see this warning that the image data will not be exported or transferred with the cut data. Right? So, as it says, there is no object there <laughs> to cut. So, I'm going to move her out of the way for now. I'm going to bring in some files with puzzle pieces. Now, the first one I'm going to use is one I've used before. Uh, this is by Bird's Cards, Jigsaw 16 piece. She also has a nine piece, which is um, more or less for children's puzzles. The other two, the heart and the rectangle, are from Abby Kirsten collections. I just discovered her the other day, uh, although I'm, I know she's been around for a, a, quite a while, but I decided to uh, download a couple of her jigsaw pieces as well. The third one, which I haven't actually shown on here, is from Jennifer Maker. She also has jigsaw puzzles pieces and she has the videos showing how to put them together. And in all th three cases, they do allow for at least some commercial use. But I would always check on the individual websites to be sure that that information is correct and that it's up to date because they can change their policy on usage. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to uh, 
uh, sell anything that you make. If it's just for your personal use, then you should be fine. Now I'm going to start, as I said, with this one. And also, I will leave links to all their websites in the description box below if I didn't say that already. So this is the 16 piece. You can see. And you want to be sure that you group this because as you see, it's not grouped at the moment. And unless you are wanting to just have a blank jigsaw in which you know, maybe you would like to do your own drawing in, in here or you're using it as, as perhaps as a, um, a another layer because you might want to layer up your pieces then you could have them you know, individual but there's really no point because they're going to cut individually but when you send it to your scan and cut you can have it grouped and then you're not um, in danger of it coming apart on you and as you can see if I place this over this image here if you had not gripped that you run the risk of some of those pieces perhaps coming coming apart and let's just show you here so let's say that you accidentally moved one of the pieces that's going to actually uh, ruin your your actual jigsaw so you don't want to do that let's put that back and we've grouped it back again oh, not yet to group that again it is so we can place that over top of our image if you wanted something like this you could have a lovely puzzle of her head and shoulders there or indeed you could enlarge it along with your image you know how how large a, an image you had need to be sure that's within the cutting area something like that or you also can change the shape you need to be careful about distorting that so let's say you had a lovely sheet of pattern paper or maybe a scene from in one of your um, scrapbook uh, pieces you could make that to completely fill it and as I said you can change it around like that just keep in mind as I said that you don't get too distorted because you don't want something that looks more like that okay so let's delete that one and we'll go over and grab another here's a rectangle now this is one that is from abby Kristen, and again these are individual pieces so you want to group that and we'll make it transparent so this one has 
has 20 pieces rather than the 16. You might have something that looks like that. You have perhaps smaller pieces. And that is a second choice. The third choice is the heart. And I'm going to use this one to make a card. And when we get to the machine, to the craft desk, I'll show you how I'm going to use this. So again, I want to group it. even have something like that. Just make that transparent so you can see. And that is actually going to cut out in a heart shape. I'm going to just move that to the side and that over there and go back and get the 16 piece once again I'll group that and the last one is this rectangle here I'll group all of these Place that here on the mat along with the other two. And it does not matter, as I said, the size at the moment because that's all going to be determined when we send this to the machine and scan in whatever image we want to cut out and create our puzzle from. Now you have various choices as to what you'll use to cut out your puzzle. You could use uh, a light chipboard, you could use a uh, craft card, you could use card, you could use printable vinyl, you could use sticker sheets anything like that. I don't have these the sticker sheets or the printable vinyl, but I do have card. I do have light chipboard actually in the form of a cereal box mm -hmm. <laughs> so that I'm going to use and I have some craft card. Now if you want your puzzle to be thicker then you can make a second cut of your puzzle and or even a third and glue them all together uh, after you've cut them out of course but in this case I'm only going to be using the uh, the one cut and you'll see that when I after I send these to the machine and have cut them out so we'll export this Remembering that the image data is not going to be transferred. Send it on through the um, cloud, to the internet, to my machine. The internet is a bit slow today. There we are. So now that is there and it's now a matter of just going to the machine loading up our mat and cutting out the pieces. So I'll see you over there. It's the image that I'm going to be using to make the one of my jigsaws. This is a watercolor that I did, oh, must have been two, three years ago now, and it's, this is just a print of it. I've put 
some double-sided sticky roll on the back and I'm going to burnish that and then I'm going to place it on this which is a cereal box and it's a lightweight chipboard essentially so I'm just going to peel off the back here Flick that and get it started. Then I'll peel the backing off. I think I'll place this. I'll cut around this. So what I'm going to do is bend it a bit. That is four. And I can go in and the excess off. These I'm using are this little house mouse, which I'm going to use for a card. And I thought this would make a nice children's puzzle. So I'm going to get those on the mat, cut these out, and I'll be back. Here are the results of two of those puzzles. This is the children's card. I really think that came out very nicely. This was the paper which was just glued onto a piece of craft cardstock. And it's really quite, uh, quite thick. But if you wanted it even thicker, then you would need to cut it out twice and then glue glue it together but I, I think this is is really fine this is not too bad the other piece was the cereal box or the light chipboard now I will warn you that this does take quite a few passes with this because it is so thick and so dense plus it had the um, extra layer in between with the sticky back uh, backing on it so don't be alarmed if it does take quite a few passes when I watched the cricket video they were using the um, maker with the knife blade to cut the puzzle and it took 21 passes so just so you are aware that it will take quite a few uh, passes uh, to complete but it does turn out very nicely of course you could if you wanted coat these with maybe something like a Mod Podge and of course don't forget to take a photograph or provide a, a little picture of the completed puzzle unless you're going to be mean and <laughs> not do that but I would not recommend that if you want to uh, stay um, on good terms with whoever you give this to but there we have the puzzles and you could put that in a nice little gift box and it would be nice if you had uh, perhaps a, a photograph of someone you could do that or you could have their favorite uh, film star or their favorite sports hero or um, you know their, their favorite artist you know whatever you like and the other piece that I've did was the heart shape. And this is the one where I took a piece out, right? And I've already put the card together. It's a five by five card, and I've just mounted um, it with some, this teal blue here. And uh, I guess it's almost a green, greenish blue. And then here you'll see something is missing. And then you open it inside, and there's the missing piece, you. So that is the little card and the heart shape. And again, you could give this, though, as a puzzle all on its own. I do hope you enjoyed this video and that you're inspired to try making your own custom puzzles. If so, please leave a thumbs up and don't 
don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And if you are, thank you so much indeed. Well, until we meet again, please stay safe and crafty hugs. Bye.